Yo, what up guys, Dubs here, and uh, today I'm going to show you a very basic tutorial on how to make your own intro in Sony Vegas. Um, this is probably one of the first ever effects I learnt in, well, actually first ever um, sort of project I ever learnt in Sony Vegas, and it's, it's, it's really simple, anyone can do it. So uh, this is on the lines of what we'll be doing. So uh, it's just pretty nice little light going around, um, I'll put in some extra stuff if you want, but uh, I'll probably have a few tutorials in this one, but first I'm going to show you how to design that. So I'm just going to create a new project, and um, at first you just want to make a video track by right clicking this box here, put insert video track, and then right click this box, and then it should say insert text media. So um, you guys are probably watching this because you're really new to uh, Sony Vegas, so I'm going to literally t take you through the basics whilst I'm at it. So I actually have two screens on my computer, and um, that's why I'm bringing stuff across. Just don't worry about it. So uh, I'm in this b box here, you can um, insert whatever text you're going to use for your intro. And I'm just going to put my YouTube name, which is VI Dubs. Boom. And um, if you look behind it, this is your preview screen where everything will be. So preview screen, that's looking pretty cool. So at the moment, if I just push the play button down here, there's nothing really happening. It's just the timelines are going across, but nothing's happening. So uh, on my video effects button here, I want I'm going to um, I'm going to show you the uh, effect I showed you at the beginning, and I use this little default plugin called ambient red spotlight so I'm just going to drag this onto my text layer and uh, it should be in the middle but if I push play you should notice that it doesn't go across your screen like mine did so um, to make me do this what, what am I about? to make it do that I have to keyframe it and that is virtually putting um, frame, no, I mean keys in your timeline which means it sort of like activates different points so at the beginning, um, if you're not on Sony Vegas 10, there should be a box down here. But if you're on number 10, push this button which says Aminate. Oh, so I'm blah, can't say anything today. But uh, click this button here, and it should be at the beginning of your timeline. Make sure this button is clicked here. Because then when you go across your timeline, it actually goes across your timeline down here in real time. So at the beginning, I'm going to start off on my left. So on my Y axis... I'm going to put it on to access, sorry, put it to point 100. No, actually, that's too much. Point 250. And uh, that is just coming from the side of the left hand side of the text. So I'm just going to push this button here, which adds a keyframe. And I'm going to go right to the end of my timeline, just before the end. And I'm going to put probably, I don't know, minus point 250. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Um. No. Wait. Wrong one. About point seven hundred and fifty, which puts that onto the other side. So if I just go to the beginning of my video and push play, you can see over that. How long is this video? Five seconds. Um. You can see this light travels all the way to the other side. So that is the first intro that you can make.